everyone. Silver Joker here. Okay, so there's a lot of nervousness right now, especially in the family members that uh, are new to stacking, my family, or new to stacking, and they see that silver, they look at spot price today, silver's down 74 cents. Premiums are down. I just looked and I went to um, finebullionprices.com and there is, you can buy silver, generic silver rounds right now for like $2.08 over spot. All right, so I'm not going to tell you where that is. Go to finebullionprices.com because I don't want to advertise for them. I'm not getting paid for that. But you can find silver, and I believe in some places it's even cheaper than that. Okay, so this is what I believe happened. You know, I got calls from family members that saying, look, I could have bought silver today a lot cheaper than I bought it a couple months ago when I first started buying it. You know, what's going on here? You know, they're new to stacking, so I get that. So this is what I told them, and I'm going to tell you. This is what I believe happened. Now, this is my opinion. When the banking crisis and all this stuff was going on, people, they were a little concerned about their financial health. So they bought a lot of precious metals. A lot of the coin stores I've shown you guys, I went through it in a lot of videos that I posted and shared with you guys, the shelves were empty. There were people saying that silver was in short supply, they couldn't find it, and that was true. As soon as silver was on the shelf, it was gone. Now the silver supply is starting to stabilize people are starting to get silver. Silver dealers, silver sellers, coin stores are starting to be able to get silver like they were before. So the shelves are starting to get a little more supplied. And what's happened is people have bought a lot of silver because they wanted something that was safer than the dollar. They wanted something that was safer than their money that was in the bank. Because you guys know you have to be living under the rock to not have seen what was going on with the banks. And a lot of that stuff is still going on. But people bought a lot of silver. So those people who bought a lot of silver are obviously not buying it now. They're sitting on a pretty good sized stack that they've stacked and they're just not buying it now. So the shelves are pretty full. So I think a lot of the coin dealers, coin store owners, they're lowering their premiums because they got a lot of product that they need to move. Nothing has really changed as far as the value of silver to your financial health, as far as I'm concerned. You still need to have something other than dollar bills to really protect your protect you financially going forward. For me, that's silver. For you, it may be something else. It may be gold or whatever, but it's something tangible that's outside of relying on fiat currency. The good thing about this situation is silver is more affordable, as far as I'm concerned. This is my opinion. Silver is more affordable. I can adjust my budget and buy more silver, which is exactly what I've been doing. I have a goal that I want to reach, and this just helps me out as far as being able to put more silver into my stack to meet that goal at the end of the year. So silver, the fact that silver is adjusting this way, that according to spot price, which of course you know is not the value of your silver, silver's down, 74 cents the last time I checked it today. But that only means that spot price is down. You haven't lost any ounces. So just because spot price moves up and down doesn't mean that your silver is losing any weight. And so you're still able to take advantage of whatever that ounce is gonna bring you in the future. Another good thing about this is your silver is not losing value unless you sell now. Silver's down 74 cents according to spot price. So that means that you can get it, probably gonna get a little less if you sell it today than what you could have got for it a few months ago, but that's only if you sell it today. And that's entirely up to you. That's why I stress that physical silver stacking is not for everyone. It takes discipline. You have to, you have to think, what is this gonna do for me in the future? If you're thinking that silver should be moving or working for you now, unless you're a coin store owner or bullion dealer, then this is the wrong metal for you to get into. Silver is really meant to just sit and, you know, collect dust. So it's not really about uh, silver making you money right now. In my opinion, it's not losing anything unless you sell. Your silver's not worth 74 cents less today unless you sell today. Because your silver is outside the bounds of all this volatility unless you put it in that stream. My silver has been sitting in my stack since I stacked it. It is outside the bounds of all this craziness that's going on in the market, all this volatility, because I keep it separate from that. 
When I'm ready to sell my silver, I want it to be at the time of my choosing. When I feel that the price is right for what I want to do with my physical silver. Because I've set it up that way. Now, of course, if a severe enough emergency comes up, I have my physical silver to meet those financial burdens. My silver is outside the bounds of all this influence, except that when it's down like this, I get to buy more silver. I get to put more in my stack. And so, you know, I understand exactly how silver works. I understand exactly what it's meant to do. And these things right here don't concern me. Right now, you get to buy more silver. You get to put more silver in your stack. And that's really how I look at this. This is that silver lining, excuse the pun, so a lot of people are sitting on silver that they bought. So they're not buying silver as much. And some people are actually selling silver. I talked to some of my local coin store owners on the phone. And so people are bringing silver in to sell. These are the people who bought it and were a little you know, disheartened by the fact that now it's, as far as they're concerned, it's lost value. And for them, by selling it, it has lost value. But if you hold on to it, it will gain all that back. Just hold on to it. Silver moves like that. Remember, silver pushed $50 in 2011. And so these things happen. Just keep in mind that your silver is meant to be a long-term endeavor. And you decide. You decide when you're going to put your silver in the atmosphere of volatility. Because it's always going to be that way. And so for me, I get to pick and choose when I sell my silver when i'm going to expose my silver to the market so i want to leave you with this stacking physical silver may not be for everyone it takes discipline and it takes patience it takes a complete understanding of your personal finances what you can do without what you must have and whatever you put into silver got to be something that you will not miss that you do not need Silver is meant to be put away and forgotten about until such time as you're ready to expose it to the market. People who have stacked silver before silver reached almost $50 an ounce waited until that time was right. And so if you're not able to do that, if you're not able to put away silver to such time as you're ready to expose it to the market, then maybe stacking silver is not for you. Maybe you need to rethink some things before you start getting into physical silver. So I'm not going to sit here and pump silver to you. You really have to have a deep understanding of your personal finances or stacking physical silver is going to do more harm to you financially than any good. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. I think I'm going to go to the Sharonville Coin Show this year. Look, I went the last one I went to Look, this is what I'm all about trying to find deals, trying to find the best price I can for silver. Now, there are a few things that I collect and I'm willing to pay a premium for those, but that's a personal choice. But for the most part, I try to find silver at the best, most economical price I can for my stack. And the last time I was at the Sharonville Coin Show, those deals weren't available. There wasn't a whole lot of bargains there, so to speak. It was a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun there, but I really looked for those deals is a lot of things have changed since the last time I was at the Sharonville Coin Show. So I think I'll go down there this time to see what's going on. You know, I like being around silver, but I also like trying to find deals. And so that's what I'm going to be looking for, unless I come across that one thing that I just have to have. <laughs> I never leave a coin show without buying something. Something catches my eye. So we might make it down to this one. But anyway... Uh, let's just keep the silver train rolling. Let's do the things that we know we have to do to protect our financial future. And for me, physical silver is the best, most affordable way to do that. All right. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.